All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tracy Cortez! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amanda Eva! You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with the start of round one, and this is going to be very interesting because on one side of this equation, you have a woman who is only one of the best BJJ practitioners in the world, and yet her opponent, while well-rounded, feels like she has no problem engaging her on the ground could be a dangerous proposition. It's a very dangerous proposition. That's why it needs you to head landing. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And she caught the kick. Oh, strong body kick by her there. It's just a really high pace. Oh, there's my hand. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Cortez's elbow. Nice job to land the straight punch there. So you thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Instead, decides to go back to her bread and butter, her striking and certainly found the target there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Always busy here in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. She got that single collar tie. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in the Beautiful kick lands there. Good job by her with the left hand there. Nice body kick. Just missed with that right hand. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Quick entry to get Man, in on a that single. that was a great single. Right into a takedown. Cortez in half guard now. Right into side control. Cortez is back in side control. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Peabots getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, look at that. High-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Peabots' pass is denied. That was nice. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level ground exchanges that they just experienced. She gets space and gets some separation. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Finish here. Oh! 
30 seconds now to go in the opening round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. She blocked that punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Final seconds. in the books. Heading back to the corner now after that round. He buses, bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Boss is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passive. Right away, passive. Try to pass to get good ground to come off. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she has got that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on this. All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me your back. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Heba. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening belt. From the start of the fight, you can see that she was different tonight. You can see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Obvious redness now on the left side of her body, courtesy of those body kicks. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Cortez gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh. Boss gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. He bosses in half guard. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. He bosses back in half guard, very comfortable here. High level grappling there as she reverses position on the ground. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, she's got a rear naked choke, and it's tight. <laughs> oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Man, she's making these ground strikes count. Well, 
doing her able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Hibas. All right, so a pretty interesting development here in terms of this fighter's evolution. Just as we saw in the last round, primarily a jiu-jitsu athlete having a lot of success with her striking tonight. Well, you can see it from the moment she came out the corner. She was confident. She told us she would not chase takedowns. She felt like she was even better in the striking. And to this point, she has proven exactly that. All right, so she landed the strike there. That's the good news. Bad news, though, it just didn't do much damage. Her cardio has really abandoned her at this stage of the fight. Back to the orthodox stance. And they separate. 30 seconds to go in round two. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown here? She's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side. Oh, she's got her back. Hibas's cheek looks like it's caught here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, oh. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, back to the stool she goes. We'll see if they can close up that cut, and it's a pretty big one she's dealing with on her cheek. It's a nasty cut on her cheek, but it's in a better spot. It's not blood leaking into her eye. It's more pain now because every time she gets hit in it, it's going to hurt. She's got to be a little better on the defensive side of things. You ready to fight? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Beautiful reaction by her there as she catches the kick and looks for an immediate takedown with the count. Reactionary takedowns are the best takedowns because you don't have to go and create them. She did exactly that on that takedown after catching the kick. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. Beautiful leg. Kibas's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Beautiful kick. Nice transition. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Cortez in half goal. Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Oh, she's got that heel hook tight. Working now to finish the heel hook. She's got her locked in, but she's got to make sure that her opponent doesn't find space to try to escape. Oh, looks like she might succumb to the submission there. She wasn't having it. Nice job to get back to her feet. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. She misses with the left punch there. Nicely done as she closes the distance to attain the single goal attack. She's hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, it looked like we were gonna get the finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. Was not able to find that one shot that would take the fight. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to show up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Nicely done. He busts. Going for an arm here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. She's trying to finish the arm bar. She's got to be patient, though. If she rushes, she will lose this position. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Oh, that's a strong elbow there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, really good strikes by her here in top position.
Cortez is back inside control here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, she's got her in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the bottom fighter, nothing advantageous about it. It's not a good position to be in when you're in the bottom position. You've got to try to force some sort of improvement. You've got to force some sort of action that will allow you to return to your feet. It's very tough. It's very difficult. But if you're patient, there will be an out presented to you at some point. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damaging strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and Work. gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Reversal to top position by Cortez. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Cortez is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. He boss gets tattooed by that oh, elbow. Yeah. These are raining down now on the ground. We won, baby. We won he boss's vision really starting to be impaired now. You see the blood coming into that eye. Cutman has his work cut out for him between rounds. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Tracy Cortez! All right, so it goes down as a decision win for the more balanced fighter here tonight and did it relatively cleanly, DC. She was clean, John.